on the official television station of Illini Sports. This is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. You can't have a college football season without practicing, and that's what the Illini did for the first time this morning as they are off and running, working out for about two hours at Memorial Stadium. A lot, is, a lot of work has gone in to make this day a reality, a lot of planning, a lot of COVID-19 testing, but just getting to this step today, a major step towards having a season. More than 1,000 of those COVID tests have been taken by the players, and that number will go up considerably moving forward as the program announced today that all high-risk sport athletes like football will now be tested for COVID-19 daily. The coaches are wearing masks. The players have a thin protective shield on their helmet as well, but head coach Lovey Smith says he feels safe. Yeah, we feel like Champaign is about as safe as a place as you could be uh, right now. Uh, being an athlete, a football player here, really an athlete at the University of Illinois. Our COVID protocol is about as good as you get, and our doctors have done a super job. As far as knowing what's going on with each one of our athletes, we'll have a, about as good a chance to, to know that before we go on the football field, as I said, as anyone. The players are keeping their distance from one another whenever possible, stretching further apart than normal, and not all taking the field at the same time. Running back Rayvon Bonner opted out, but he's the only Illini to not take the field today due to COVID-19 concerns. Senior captains Jake Hansen and Alex Palcheski both say they're speaking up to make sure everyone follows the rules. It only takes one guy to, to cancel this whole thing. So we just have to make sure everyone's doing their job just working towards it because it's going to be a really, really special year. I'm, I'm happy we're finally here. And uh, given all, everything that's come up and all the different curveballs we've gotten so far, it's uh, it's a positive thing that I think we've come this far. So just be smart, you know, don't don't go. Don't go out. Uh, don't don't see the girl, but just, you know, just t take care of business. I like that from Alex. Don't see the girl. These things are not necessarily easy, but Illinois Athletic Director Josh Whitman says his staff will take every precaution to make sure the players are safe, including canceling or postponing the season if necessary. Whitman met with the media this afternoon for nearly two hours in his annual State of the Program address. He says all options are on the table at a time like this. Things that at one point in time, I imagine we all would have considered unthinkable have all of a sudden become the norm, right? I mean, we're going to play a football game on September 3rd. And we just found out on August 5th, <laughs> right? I mean, it's, I mean, we, we, we've got a volleyball team that's going to start practice this weekend and they don't know their schedule yet. But these are things that a year ago we would have thought unthinkable. And, and now it's just kind of expected. A couple of news and notes from Whitman. The Division of Intercollegiate Athletics expected to take at least a $20 million loss due to COVID-19. The DIA cut 15 positions, didn't fill 11 others, and will save about $2 million as a result. An estimated 2 to $4 million was lost out of the fiscal year 2020 budget due to coronavirus. And about 500 to 1,000 single-game football tickets will be available this year. That was an update. Also, the Illinois State football game, which was canceled this year, rescheduled to 20. 28. A lot of news out of that, Jennifer. But hey, exciting day because football is back. We'll send it back to you. And you can see the girl in January.